people of India. Lot of funding grants are being given to youngsters. Lot of uh, uh, self-help groups are coming up. Farmer producer organizations are coming up. Startups are coming up. There you have a major role to play. You need not wait for the government to give you a job. You can join together. Four or five people, people can join together. Simply start a startup of making primary processing of tomato. Make the tomato into puree, ketchup, or in primary processing. Pack properly, tin it properly in a septic condition. Then you sell that produce. Not even a single point one percent of the material will be lost. All the produces are value added. You are getting more money. You are getting more income. You are you are you are helping the nation to lead the farmers because no farmer likes to send his boy or girl into farming, right? Unless otherwise, we should give a white collar position to agriculture graduation. White collar position to the graduate program, which is related to agriculture and allied sector, not only agriculture, animal husbandry, fisheries, and whatnot, all sericulture, apiculture, all those things have to be taken into account. Here I think about the Nalanda and Takshadila. Takshadila and Nalanda, those are the oldest uh, universities ever developed in the world. You know, was with Pass with Bharat on the banks of Indus Valley. Nalanda and Takshadila. Takshashila is now with Pakistan. Nalanda is with us only, right? What they taught that time? On hand, skill-based, soft skill development, hard, hard skill development. All those things were only taught there. Horse riding was taught. SWAT fighting was taught. Was taught there. You know, wrestling was taught. So many other activities were taught, right? What we learned, what we taught in our agriculture extension, Advirati said, seeing is believing and doing is experiencing. Am I correct? That is what skill-based, soft skill-based trainings are coming up now. ICR in the Dean's, so fifth Dean's committee, it has been emphasized that value addition in education through soft skill development and hard skill development, that should be That should be done. Next, please. So here, no, we, we are all teaching agriculture, horticulture, agriculture engineering, dairy technology, forestry, veterinary, food technology, biotech, all kinds of things under the sun we are teaching in agriculture graduation course. Nowhere in the country, no other course where you learn such a vast, versatile subjects. Our knowledge uh, level is very high, very high. You know, while studying semester, when we studied, we studied in trimester. We studied in trimester. Once in three months, we'll have final exam. Once in one month, we'll have midterm exam. Once in two weeks, we have quiz. Thank God, my seniors had unannounced quiz also. Sir, will come in the class, take half an hour class, and next half an hour will be unannounced quiz. Till the portion taken in the present class. Up till the last all classes, he will put 10 questions. That will be unannounced to quiz. You just imagine, you are lucky enough, you are in semester. We were in trimester. And our seniors were in with unannounced quiz trimester. Our good old seniors like Shailendra Babu and uh, 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 Revi. Eh? Yeah, Dure Raj, Shailendra Babu, Mervin Laxander, Raja Rajan, Selva Raj, Selva Durai, uh, Anand. So many people, so many people, right? Including Amuda. So <laughs> that is how we were all taught. Next, please. You know, the, the academic program, research and innovation, practical training, industry collaboration, career opportunities, entrepreneurship and startup, global opportunities. You know, uh, for any of, any of our agriculture and allied sector graduates, we are supposed to feed the nation not only feeding the nation, we have to be there in uh, the bureaucratic setup also. Many of our uh, graduates are there in civil service. The number one opportunity for, for all my graduates and postgraduates who are listening to me, you know, there is empty scope for civil service examination. 
not like yester years there are so many institutions which teach you train you and all try to sit for civil service examination you can achieve in it you can get select you shall get selected in the civil service examination and you can join with the civil service you know they are the masters who are guiding the nation who are actually ruling the nation so you can make you can you can uh, take the nation uh, in a very prosperous direction you can do lot of things then comes the academic program you your uh, uh, you know your curriculum course materials and all after your graduation post graduation and all you can very well join with academic institutions you can teach this graduation program and pg programs and all not only in uh, our own institution i told you, you know, there are about 64 ag state agriculture universities uh, there are about uh, three central agriculture research institute like uh, central agriculture research institute uh, imphal then uh, rani lakshmi bai Ag central agriculture research institute in uh, jhansi then you have rajendra prasad agriculture central research institute in uh, pusa bihar so three central agriculture research institutes are there then we have four deemed agricultural universities deemed agricultural universities starting from uh, iara indian agriculture research institute you know i tell you more than 65 percentage of our graduate who went from K tnau for their higher studies at iari all have got into the civil service examination all have cleared civil service examination so those who are graduating here doing final year final year portion final year program here certainly go and sit for i mean iari msc admission 65 percentage i tell you whoever went from tnau they are all, they are all into civil service in any one of the civil service exams so it's not only ips and all there are about 30 32 plus that the, eh? more than 24 more than 24 main mainstream services and rest 12 or 14 sideline services are also there class one positions will be there then you can upgrade it into the coming years you can again write and upgrade your position so better go for iari sit for iari entrance examination that happens in june july june july so please please try for that so you can go for you can go for this iari that is one of the deemed university and uh, ndri national dairy research institute karnal there is a third uh, deemed university called ivri indian veterinary research institute you know veterinary research institute mean agriculture graduates cannot write no you can write veterinary extension you can write veterinary extension you can write dairy technology karnal uh, uh, ndri you then comes the uh, icr fisheries education institute in mumbai so these four deemed universities are also there three central universities are there 64 state private universities are there so all these institutions we we have lot of opportunities to enter into the uh, teaching position and uh, no other course other than medicine or veterinary no other course where this kind of training programs are seen there now i am very happy i should appreciate the faculty members here as well as the dean uh, dr vanil uh, rajan my buddy as well as jayprakash that i could see most of our agriculture graduates are who are studying here as well as horticulture students they are all in the field i should appreciate them it needs a uh, applause because uh, you know your studies in the field you have to learn you have to live with the field for that only you know early days it was 100% residential 100% residential agriculture graduation course is 100% residential you know there are uh, amteen challenges also as i said not like yester years lack of quality in education uh, it is it is seen uh, in uh, everywhere uh, then limited funding not like yester years funding is the limiting factor now you know all the governments are saying you make your funding you generate your income from your own institution so that kind of funding glitch is there so shortage of funding is there then comes you know the outdated curriculum that is very important i tell you in the uh, curriculum designing 
we faculty members also have a very major role to play as well as industry also has a many, very important role to play in my university dewe patel agriculture and technical university we are formulating our curriculum with the support of industry people you know ours is agriculture and technical university in agriculture agriculture industries are there agriculture engineering is there agricultural input suppliers producers sub agents everybody is there so we we involve them we call them we do workshop and we develop the curriculum what the industry needed that we have to teach the students because a graduate means a graduation is not a mere graduation you have to be graduated in that subject the subject knowledge must be there on hand experience must be there as well as you must be useful to the community or society as well as to the industry you must be an industry ready graduate otherwise there is no use in graduation so what the industry needed that kind of curriculum is to be refined what the society need needed that kind of curriculum should be uh, refined and made so outdated curriculum is another challenge then comes you know limited industry academia collaboration this is what i mentioned for our uh, computer science and engineering artificial intelligence machine learning data science you know i call the ibm as well as uh, infosys industry uh, stalwarts in pune mumbai and all who are at the dgm level and all we discussed with them and we prepared the curriculum uh, in collaboration with them there must be an academia industry partnership that must be always there otherwise you know we cannot survive and the industry can support financially also the funding part can be given by the industry that is what happening in the western world you now research activities are being supported by the industry right syngenta is supporting bayer is supporting for doing some research on pesticides insecticides uh, its resurgence study bioassay study in all kinds of residual analysis study all kinds of studies they are funding similarly the industry should have, should be taken into account into confidence while formulating the curriculum while formulating the coursework and all the shortage of skilled faculty that is seen everywhere now it is very important thing those who are listening me maybe senior faculties or uh, administrators including my batchmate and colleague uh, dr gida lakshmi your vice chancellor of tnau uh, we are of the same batch here i would like to appreciate uh, gida lakshmi ma'am uh, as well as at another uh, dr r mugam my horticulture colleague my classmate is the vice chancellor of tirudur university so we three are the vice chancellors i became first after 6 months gida ma'am became vice chancellor then after 6 months the r mugam became vice chancellor uh, another thing is that you know i was the pa of uh, uh, meteorology acrp on uh, meteorology uh, of agro advisory system aas of tau i was the pa and gida lakshmi ma'am was the pa of tna so we were uh, like colleagues working in different universities and ma'am may be listening at a shortage of skilled faculty that has to be very seriously looked into you know ma'am and myself we had uh, kaliyappa kind of people dalda tin technology of evaporimeter evapor transpiration study which are which might you might have you might have studied in your meteorology course or agronomy course whether taught or not i don't know you studied okay so those ages were dr ramayya dr kaliyappa dr purushottaman you know stop and podumbuvanam subramaniam uh, he is a stalwart in water management courses dry farming courses mutha krishna and weed management courses so those kind of stall was starters and you know the education should also faculty members qualified very eminent stall was in area of appropriate sciences plant breeding genetics entomology gunathila raj like people should should be there i don't comment that it is not there no i say such kind of eminent personalities must be there there should not be any shortage of skilled faculty qualified faculty those who have 
uh, attended summer institute winter institute of icr compulsorily those who have net qualification those who have phd qualification those who have a uh, lot of exposure outside the state outside the country then you know the graduates will be of superior quality that is very important and another thing kids this is the only time you get time to study you concentrate on your courses study well why i am saying is now i am heading in university i know the mentality of the students the mentality of the students while we were students is different the mentality of the students whom i am getting now it is entirely different so i am very sorry to say this you concentrate little more on the subject study well prepare well read well make use of your library both digital as well as uh, the physical library read well because every second you spend inside this campus you know it won't come back again it won't come back especially on boys i am telling girl students at least they sit in the hostel or read boy students you know uh, you will be having a different kind of thinking mentality so please those who are listening me kindly have it in mind unless otherwise you read and you equip yourself with all armory full of knowledge now you cannot compete in the coming years every time competition is tightening every year competition is increasing you are going to fight in a war there you should succeed and you should speak like me before your younger generation when you became at our level right for that you know you should keep equip yourself so kindly uh, make use of all the facilities available now you have digital library now we don't have the time i did my phd program my thesis was typed by hand not even by electronic typewriter we used a calculator the name called the facet with rolling kind of calculator we used okay not far away only just 30 years back it is just like yesterday it is just like yesterday so every moment you are spending in the campus is very precious kindly make use of make use of it very well study well make use of your digital library make use of your, for your uh, um, you know real library with books reference text and all and uh, literature review and all you do it very well similarly all the research scholars who are listening to me try to publish good articles in top rated research journals scopus research journals you publish your articles that is very important i don't believe in uh, this index or that index but still you have to be you have to be there in the war you have to be there in the uh, you know fight so shortage of skilled faculty it is a very important thing as well as limited research opportunities here i uh, i uh, uh, go against this statement there are unseen research open opportunities uh, in india now because you know we are on par with any other uh, developed nation in the country career opportunities in india is abundant now abundant as agriculture research service ars agriculture horticulture officer public service commission forest officer food safety officer here i would like to mention very important point that you know i have forest service i know many of the students from this campus are in the forest service many of the students from kenu main campus is there in the forest service my brother uh, mr justin mohan uh, graduated from karaikal did his pg in microbiology from coimbatore uh, he was he was serving in chennai as uh, nba national biodiversity uh, authority secretary now he is the chief conservator of forest in kerala cadre he is there umpteen number of students uh, from tnau are there in forest service indian forest service you know i am equipping my agriculture graduates in dyp atu now the final batch as well as the third year batch i am making them to sit for forest service examination because if you and the forest degree holders are not sitting for forest service means then who else will sit it it's a golden opportunity uh, there you know uh, sky is the limit uh, to become a forest service officer as well as food safety officer 
Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, Food and Drug Administration under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Food safety officers are being uh, selected in all the states. Food and food related uh, positions are coming up like anything in the coming days. Already started selecting food safety officers. Our agriculture graduates can sit for food safety officers exam. Only thing is you should study the regulations as well as food safety uh, related uh, law, food law, food safety law and all. You can appear for the exam very well. What I'm saying is, uh, I'm serving in the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI. If you buy even a small pack of biscuit, it is written there, FSSAI, with a 12-digit number, right? It is now being controlled by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Food and Drug Administration. Then comes, you know, as subject matter SMS, SMS in KVKs as well as SMS in all the industry. You know, one, one of the MSs, SMS is here. Dr. Subramaniam is a, a technical head of the country, heading Agronos, an American-based company, having wings all over Europe, all over the world. So you can have empty number of opportunities before you, nationwide, teaching, non-teaching, civil service, forest service, uh, research and development, and comes the startup and entrepreneurship. That is very important. Every time in my university, I used to say that my graduates should not be a job seeker. They should not go with a begging bowl. Amma daaye, or job, vela gurungo, vela gurungo, or ek job de do, de do. I say, karke, they should not go and beg. Instead, my graduate should be a job provider. Instead of a job seeker, you must be a job provider. How? You make your own startup. Empty number of startups can be made. I have told my food technology students, I told, I am ready to pay them 1 lakh rupee in DYP ATU. If they can bring sugar cane, the most predominant crop of Kolapur area where I am sitting now, to make sugar cane juice in Tetra Pak for 10 rupees, just like Api, Kipi and Supi, so many other dirty materials are coming, color materials and all. You make sugar cane juice in SFT condition, without fermentation, without adding in chemical or additives. I want to serve this sugar cane in indigo flight. Sugarcane in Tetra Pak. My students are now working on it. My chemistry students are working on it. My food technology students are working on it. My agriculture engineering students are working on it. They are going to make a startup. It will come out. So those kind of initiatives should come. So my teachers, faculty members, learned professors who are listening to me, kindly advise your students, teach your students, guide your students to initiate startups. Old days are gone. Government giving job and all gone. Still it is there. I am not discouraging. Still jobs are there. But, but you should make your own entrepreneurial program. You must be an agripreneur once you pass out of this campus or campuses who are listening to me from various campuses. Because agriculture offers a wide range of career opportunities for individuals interested in various aspects of the industry. You can go for MSc, you can go for MTech, you can go for MBA, you can go for MBA, ABM, or you can go for PhD or postdoc inside the country as well as outside the country. And in private sector, empty number of avenues are there for private sector. So don't deject that you came here. Medicine, we don't get admission, we didn't get admission. You know what happened in 1980? When I joined in Madurai, Tamilaya English Tuli Kutare, Satay Pyre Blind the Day, Satay Pyre, Satay Pine Randed, Satay Pyre Blind the Day, Satay Pine Randed. Right? Tamilaya Kutare. Up a cutter is on a cutter is wrong. Cutter is the bode. I was writing a pretty, uh, uh, you know, a community pair sold in a solo room, Pala, Nenda Mun Kulatil Puranda Dinal Medicine. In the uh, graduation program, I am going to go to the agriculture uh, in the base course. I am going to go to the 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 course. I am 
சின்ன அமௌண்ட் ஏதாவது கொடுத்தா சின்ன கேபிடேஷன் கொடுத்தா சின்ன அண்ணாமலை யூனிவர்சிட்டியில் இன்ஜினியரிங் கிடைக்கும் இல்லை கொஞ்சம் கூட பணம் கொடுத்தா சின்ன மணிப்பால் யூனிவர்சிட்டியில் மெடிசின் கிடைக்கும் மேங்களூரில் அப்போ வந்து ஒரு வாத்தியார் ஹீ சேட் மெரிட்டில் எங்கே கிடைக்கும் அங்கே படித்தா போதும் புரியுதா அப்படியாக மதுரையில் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் காலேஜில் படிக்க வந்தேன் நைன்டி த்ரீ பர்சன்டேஜ் இருந்தது மெடிசின்க்கு கிடைக்கல வித் தட் ஐ ஜாயின் இன் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் அப்போ என்ன சொன்னேன்னா ஓரோ காலத்திலையும் இந்த இதெல்லாம் ஏறி குறைஞ்செல்லாம் இருக்கும் அதை பற்றி ஒன்றுமே கவலைப்படாதீங்க யுவர் டியூட்டி இஸ் டு ஸ்டடி இந்த நாலு வருஷம் படிக்க வந்தால் நாலு வருஷம் படிக்கணும் சும்மா திருச்சியில் போய் அப்படியே சுற்றி அந்த என்ன மலைக்கோட்டை எல்லாம் கண்டு கரங்கி அப்படியே ஜாலியாக சுற்றி சுற்றி இருந்தால் போயிட்டே இருக்கும் வெள்ளிக்கிழமை வரும் சனிக்கிழமை வரும் ஞாயிற்றுக்கிழமை வரும் மே போகும் ஜூன் வரும் ஜூலை வரும் இருபத்தி மூன்று போகும் இருபத்தி நாலு வரும் இருபத்தி அஞ்சு இருபத்தி ஆறு அவுட் கோர்ஸ் முடிஞ்சது ரைட் பட் அந்த டைம்ல இஃப் யூ திங்க் ப்ரிப்பேர் யுவர் செல்ஃப் பிளான் யுவர் செல்ஃப் யூனோ மை செகண்ட் இயர் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அக்ரி இன்ஜினியரிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் பிளானிங் ஃபார் ஸ்டார்ட் அப் டு டெவலப் ட்ரோன் பை தம்சல் அக்ரி இன்ஜினியரிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அவங்க பிளான் பண்றாங்க மண்டே ஐம் கோயிங் டு சைன் அண்ட் எம்ஓயூ வித் வேர்ல்ட் ட்ரேட் சென்டர் வித் ஏவியோனிக்ஸ் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு கம்பெனியோ எம்ஓயூ சைன் பண்றேன் எதுக்கு ட்ரோனோட இண்டிஜினஸ் வேர்ஷன் டெவலப் பண்றதுக்கு நாலு பசங்க ஒரு ஸ்டார்ட் அப் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ண போறாங்க தே ஆர் கோயிங் டு மேக் ஏ ஸ்டார்ட் அப் ஆன் ட்ரோன் மேக்கிங் ட்ரோன் யூனோ ட்ரோன் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி யூஸ் இனோவேட்டிவ் திங் இனோவேட்டிவ் திங் in kerala every panchayat is going to buy a drone every panchayat is going to buy a drone why the labor wage is 1000 rupees per day labor cost kooli velaiku or poya porogalu kedaikiradhu 1000 rupees for doing nothing we are getting people now from bangladesh bihar orissa and all for them kerala is a gulf and we our younger generation idiots they are going to gulf for making money really it is happening that is the reality there i am going to introduce diploma in upkeep and maintenance of drones three year diploma course i am going to start my board is going to approve upkeep and maintenance of drone but drone ellarume drone use pannite pp chemicals fertilizer supply pandradukku ella drone use panna thodangalanga nu vechikidunga yeah naalaikku swigby chicken 65 will come drone will come and drop you at your doorstep it is already happening in america it is already happening in europe medicine they are dropping medicines at your doorstep you know kondai ella veli urla appa ma amma mattum tata tata va paatiyo avangalukku medicine vaang medicine ku order kudutha medicine doorstep la vandu potru povum drone blood blood bank la irundhu blood drone kondu vandu kudukudhu you just imagine in hospital in hilly terrain like northeastern states and all it is already in practice i am sure in trichy as well as in trivandrum irude native illa nagagoil road chicken 65 veetla kondu poda podu yes when you order in sukhi sukhi paya varamata drone vandu potru pogum drone 20 50 packet drone thooki vidruvanga or one or or edathila pogum bodu correct ah drop pannum eppadi using longitude latitude geo positioning by finding out the correct geo positioning in the location map la neenga google la location map la neenga enga point pannirkeengalo and the point la longitude latitude la vandu tap potittu pogum purida so in agriculture also drones are going to play a major role then comes the robotics robotics in agriculture iot in agriculture sensors in agriculture is going to rule the nation agriculture sector la indha mari rural developments la nadandittu irukku silent revolutions are happening in outside the country it is happening in india also it will come here there you have a major role to play internet of things artificial intelligence using sensors voice sense panni automatic cut on cut off valve vande function aagum for irrigating for irrigation டிசைடு டெப்தில் சாச்சுரேஷன் மாய்ச்சர் வர்ற வரைக்கும் எவ்வளோ மாய்ச்சர் தண்ணி வேணுமோ அந்த அளவுக்கு தண்ணி அத்தனை மணி நேரத்துக்கு ட்ரிப் இரிகேஷன் ட்ரிப் ஸ்டார்ட் ஆகும் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்காக சோல்நாய்டு வார்டு வந்து கட் ஆஃப் ஆகும் இரிகேஷன் வில் பி தேர் யூ நீ நாட் கோ டு த ஃபீல்டு டிஸ் ஐ ஹவ் டன் 
while I was serving as National Agriculture Mission Director, along with the CDAC, Center for Advanced Computing, Government of India, we developed a smart farm system. I tested one smart farm system with the farmer's field, another smart farm system with the uh, agriculture college uh, Trivandrum. Both the systems are still functioning very well. The production cost is only 33,000 rupees. If you go with the Rainbird or some other multinational company, it will be 3 lakhs, 4 lakhs. one-tenth cost of smart farm system. Thing is, I took the farmer to Krishi Unadi Mela at Delhi, New Delhi, in Pusa campus, where uh, Honorable Prime Minister Pradhan Mandri Ji came. I stood with him. I called this uh, farmer who is having a smart farm system at his uh, farm in Trivandrum, about 3,500 kilometers away. He made a missed call and started irrigating his field. He called his wife and wife came on WhatsApp, uh, this thing, video, and shown that by pressing, giving a what's, uh, missed call from Delhi, his irrigation system started in Trivandrum. So that kind of irrigation systems are coming up. That kind of automation is happening in the country. So that kind of agriculture is going to happen. There, an ordinary farmer, ordinary uh, layman, uneducated man can't do, illiterate can't do. Where you agriculture graduate have to play a major role. Agriculture postgraduates have a major role in finding out the physiological maturity of the crop. You have a major role to work out the quantity of water to be irrigated. You have a major role to find out, to work out the nutritional supply to be given to the crop plants. So there you have your applied science. Now, weed management, like integrated weed management is combination of all um, chemical, physical, biological methods and all. There ends my integrated weed management. Yes, there you have to play. Use of secondary metabolites, plant-based, use of secondary metabolites or other metabolites of chitin-based. So many other advances are happening. Now, drones are being used in spraying certain herbicides. They are identifying the color difference of weeds and crops, differentiating and spraying herbicides only in, at the places, points where weeds are present. Efficient utilization of resources, natural resources. Certain dis, uh, nutritional disorders, micronutrient deficiency, drones are being used to apply micronutrients only to the specific area. Okay, now upkeep and maintenance of drones is highly essential. Not only in Kerala, it is required for Tamil Nadu also. So drone technology, an agriculture graduate, agriculture postgraduate should know. So those kind of advanced courses we have to. So these are the career opportunities which are happening in the country, within the country. And you know, uh, next please. The career opportunities abroad like, you know, in international agriculture department specialist, agriculture researcher and scientist, agribusiness manager, international trade and market analyst, sustainable agriculture specialist, agriculture policy analyst, food security specialist, agriculture education and training, farm manager and consultant. These kind of things are there in, in abroad. Agriculture offers a wide range of career opportunities for individuals interested in various aspects of the industry. MSc, MS, MTech, MBA, ABM, PhD, and postdoc are there abroad also. Similarly, the employment opportunity, if you think that undergraduate in agriculture is more than enough, means you will be only at that bottom line. You will be only at that bottom line. You all you know, should think of any other higher studies. Don't contend with BSc Agriculture alone. You should go for a higher study. Mere agriculture graduate or a graduation will be something like any arts, science, BA, become BA, history, geography. That's all. Kindly don't stop with that. You should go for PG degree. Generally expands your career prospects and increases the livelihood of obtaining higher level positions with more responsibilities, opportunities for growth. You know, career opportunities 
see here i i would like to say there will be empty number of scope opportunities for value addition in food value addition in agriculture horticulture and uh, other you know fisheries animal husbandry uh, producers value addition as i said you know post harvest handling value addition will be the sunrise industry and the career opportunities i mentioned which are uh, which are in the uh, country like these positions or uh, the career opportunities which are uh, available internationally are going to be the uh, the sunrise industry of the coming days you know uh we have top global agricultural universities like tnau kau dipatu anand agricultural university gb pan angrau angrau then mpkv rahuri punjab agricultural university and all in the country as well we have you know bagningen university has university in netherlands hebrew university israel and you know davis university of california then asian institute of technology ait and zurich switzerland you know all these institutions are giving you higher studies in post graduation courses irrespective of what you studied in your undergraduate program yen solrena and the international university la courses ella vande diversified multilingual multi institutional multi subjects you know wageningen university is now specializing in climate resilient agriculture climate resilient agriculture is a different uh, thing they are now working on fortification of food grains nutritional enhancement of food grains today i had been to nrc banana morning first forenoon i spent with the director selvara dr selvarajan and his team at nrc banana there i could see uh you know golden banana where uh, protein i mean uh, pro vitamin a uh, carotene carotenoids uh, are fortified in banana iron fortified in banana which will be uh, 10 times higher than the protein i mean uh, vitamin a content five times more iron content in banana so fortification is at another area lot of research are going on in wageningen university as well as in has university horticulture sector lot of activities are happening in value addition enrichment of nutrients uh, so that inter, that area is another area where uh, the the it is called the sunrise industry or uh, so called value addition in the producers agriculture is taking a different dimension then comes the hebrew university israel you know every year we are sending around 15 to 20 students to hebrew university for internship i don't know whether our students in tnu they are having internship or not no our internship is only with our agriculture research station okay. or your uh, ed uh, that uh, uh, what we what you call entrepreneurial uh, enrichment program they are attached with some uh, industry like uh, a mushroom farmer or a honey farmer some value addition which is happening at a small level no it is not the entrepreneurship program no entrepreneurship program is you know like uh, big big institutions which are doing good work especially startups especially startups as well as uh, value addition industry uh, food processing industry seed industry uh, you know multi crore turnover industries institutions that must be find out and they should be sent for entrepreneurship there i am sending last year i sent around 17 students to hebrew university israel to study one month internship there this year i am planning to send 25 students for yes agriculture engineering students i am sending now this year i will be sending agriculture business management students also mba students also there you know they should see the uh, the, the working model of business agri business which is happening outside the country yes we have to we have to send our students outside the state as well as outside the country so that you know they learn 
different models which are happening elsewhere in the world. Otherwise, kundu chatti kulle kudre vote kite irpo. Kanathu thavleya nama 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 idle priye chuti chuti varvo ordinary degree vangi kaila uchit nadakla. That is not going to help you. So we should send our students outside the country. As well as you know, we should tell our students that these kind of fellowships are there. Indian Agri Fellowship, University Commons, Sark Agriculture PhD scholarships are there. University of Edinburgh International Scholarship for Agriculture Sciences is there. Nedaji Subhash ICER International Fellowship is there. Uh, then Pro Fugo Field Fellowship is there. U.S. Bangalore uh, Sharnas Vedant Scholarship is there. You know, there are so many empty number of scholarship, not only ICR, JRF. We are all thinking about only ICR, JRF. Kedacha, Uti, Illati, Chati. I think you know, Kedacha, ICR, JRF, Illata, Vanda, all of that. No, no, there are empty number of scholarships. International scholarships are there, national scholarships are there. So try to uh, find out what are the scholarships available in the country. What are the, you know, you should not think that you are interested in agronomy. So I will go only MSc agronomy. No, that days are gone. Agronomy is not agronomy. I am an agronomist. But I tell you, after 33 years of experience, that agronomist should think about climate resilience. Different change, climate change is happening elsewhere in the world. How it is going to affect food production? How it is going to affect the nutritional content of food? So similarly, interdisciplinary thinking must be there. Now UGC as well as ICR is supporting interdisciplinary concept, interdisciplinary innovative ideas, and as I told, artificial intelligence, robotic, drone technology, uh, and all going to help you. Agriculture, uh, higher education should think about all these things. IoT-based IoT farming, if you apply for scholarship outside the country for your PG studies, there is every chance for getting scholarship. Similarly, artificial photosynthesis, multi-level vertical and indoor farming, laboratory grown milk, have you thought of it? We ever think of either Milma of Kerala or Avin of Tamil Nadu or Nandini of Karnataka or Gogul of Maharashtra. Mudinjid. How are that? Milk in the Avin. Milk in the Kerala Oda Milma. Milk in the Nandini of Karnataka. Milk in the Maharashtra Oda Gogul. Gogul. That's all. See, laboratory grown milk, tissue cultured meat, microbial food. It is going to roll. Unga pulling on the Idala Sapra Puranga. Tissue cultured chicken sixty five. Your children are going to eat. The world is growing like that. So many research work are, works are going on. Those who are interested to do some extension study on these kind of things, laboratory grown milk, tissue cultured meat, microbial food, you search in internet. Kailan the mobile could dance. You search for these kind of scholarships in these areas. Internet of things. Artificial intelligence, robotics, drone technology for agriculture, higher education. In IoT based farming, you get, instead of going for agronomy, you go for IoT based farming. Instead of going for genetic and plant breeding, you go for genome editing. That is what I told today. I have seen with my own eyes, not genetically modified. We should not say that. They are doing, they are fortifying, you know, uh, vitamin A, carotenoid, dredge, gran, gina and banana. They cut and showed me golden color inside. They cut and showed me the control, control bunch. It is white in color. The other one is golden color. Which is rich in protein, vitamin A as well as iron, iron. So this is how the agricultural innovations are happening. This kind of scholarship, research and all we should think of. Demonstration on drone technology. Drone uh, technology was demonstrated at my university to our agriculture engineering graduates and postgraduates. On the right side is the tractor working model. 
you know we have a tractor working model in our institute where the track real tra tractor is escort tractor is asked to cut into two pieces vertically it is cut into two pieces and the half piece will function our our students can learn by seeing seeing is believing doing is experiencing you know illama chuma padatha pote padatha pote padatha pote we cannot teach now our teaching methodology is to chain i am requesting my teachers who are listening me you know the tractor cut section it's a working model i am showing it to can anyone identify the first gentleman who is standing there is bal krishnan dr bal krishnan of agronomy he visited my university last month my professor who taught me basic agronomy he came with his brother uh, at dfo forest officer and all they came to my institute my dean agriculture engineering dr suhas patil is explaining the cut portion of the tractor how it is functioning so this, this kind of uh, uh, innovations you know should come into teaching padatha potu class edu irundha kaalam ellam poyiruchu vertical farming hydroponics you see the hydroponics as well as aeroponics this is going to uh, be one of the very very uh, upcoming area in most of the middle east country you won't believe in dubai my msc agronomy student who just passed out sandra lopez she is now heading this photograph is sent by her she is now looking after this farm she is the hydroponics manager there drawing good salary lot of opportunities are there in dal why i am saying saying sandra lopez is she is a girl student she did msc under me she did uh, uh, you know uh, in ragi indra crop in coconut garden while i was working as a uh, professor of agronomy in coconut research station balaram ubramandra ke u trivandram she did msc under me just completed recently she published two articles in international papers and all by the meantime i only suggested her go with your husband don't sit here go there and find out some job in fact my students who are all there working in different uh, landscape institutions and all they supported her for securing this job position she has sent this photograph this is only some three four months old uh, crop four months old uh, lettuce or some other crop the foliage crops which is cultivated in hydroponics these are innovation these are going to pay good salary to you my students don't think of agriculture officer tnpsc or agriculture officer kerala public service commission or agriculture officer maharashtra public service commission there and no your openings are there outside is the country you have empty number of opportunities innovations are there make use of it catch it when you are young then comes food science and technology food safety quality assurance food processing nutrition value new product development food product safety and quality testing sustainability and waste reduction food supply chain management scm consumer education and bio fortified food that is what i told earlier about banana fortification not only banana in capsicum in mushroom in spirulina in leafy vegetable in nuts in egg everywhere everywhere food science and technology is a sunrise industry hmm? yes 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 bio fortification is is going to rule the nation because munna mari ukande sora pote naduvula sambara uti appalatha mela pote puriyala anta pakka utte inda pakka adha utte inda idha mudinjide anta kaalalla bo pode your children are going to eat in capsule form of food which is enriched with all the minerals vitamin and essential nutrients really it is going to happen நம்ம நினைக்காத என்னென்னும் இருக்குது there is a huge competition bsc chemistry bsc physics bsc biology zoology students they are coming for msc food science 
So, you know, increasing shelf life, increasing value addition, increasing food safety, increasing food, you know, food supply chain management. So, all these areas are going to rule in the coming days. So, think about doing higher studies in food science and technology. It is going to pay you. I tell you, if you are really interested to go for higher studies, don't go for MSc Agriculture alone. MSc Agriculture is good. Try to have food science and technology in your MSc stream also. My uh, deans as well as postgraduate dean who are all listening to me, please kindly note that food science and technology is going to be the sunrise area of research and study as well as it is going to pay our students in good positions, not only in India, abroad also. I tell you, one uh, BSc Agriculture graduate who graduated from uh, Anand Agriculture University, he is my uh, cousin, you know, like Papa here, who came 20 years back to me, knowing that I am a professor in Kerala Agriculture University. He asked me, I want to do biotechnology, shall I go for it? I said, no. Don't go for biotechnology. You go for food processing engineering or food technology abroad. He tried and went for MS course in Switzerland. For MS in food processing engineering or something, food technology. Especially dairy, dairy technology, dairy processing, dairy value addition and all. You know where he is now? He is the chief food analyst of government of Dubai. Now he is there. You refer Bobby Krishna. Food analyst, UAE, you will get his uh, biodata. You search in your mobile. Bobby Krishna, food analyst, UAE. You will find what are the certification courses he has done. Now he is doing uh, food audit and certification of seven star hotels in the world. Not in India, not in Kerala, not in Tamil Nadu. Of the world, he is doing, he is a food analyst. He is a food safety uh, audit, uh, uh, auditing person, food auditor of seven star hotel, like Marriott Hotel Soda, food auditing Pandra, or internationally known figure. Why not you? In the coming 10 years, why can't you too? You can become. You have to work. You have to work. Every one of you, think about you. The days ahead are very really highly competitive. You know, uh, agriculture science education, I am telling about inside of IC, out, inside and outside of ICR and other things. Here I am just mentioning that uh, agriculture engineering, biotechnology, there are about 1055 institutions, dairy technology, Upatare, altogether, Napatar institutions are there related to horticulture, sericulture, food and nutrition, forestry, food technology, fishery, dairy technology, illama. So, Graduates annually varang Trima. Annual total student capacity is about six lakhs. Annual graduates passing out is about one lakh fifty thousand students. BSc honors, MSc, PhD, Ella Vera. So this is how this is good. This, this is just to show that uh, these are the areas wherein our uh, National Higher Education Commission of India as well as the uh, GEC General Education Council and Higher Education Grant Council, these are the Statutory councils, presently, though we are regulated by ICER, things are going to be changed. Our SAU, faculty members and administrators, policy makers, kindly have it in mind that there are certain discussions going on behind the screen. ICR is not going to support agriculture and allied sector uh, like yester years. Things are going to change. New uh, National Higher Education Regulatory Council is coming. The General Education Council is coming. Higher Education Grants Council is coming for funding. No, the powers to regulate agricultural education need to be delegated by HECI to ICAR. Now HECI is looking after it now. Are there to have statutory authority? Some discussions are going on. Accreditation Board of ICR will get the statutory status if linked to DARE and NAC. This is my suggestion. This we are proposing to Government of India also. Another thing is about the Student Ready Rural Entrepreneurship Awareness Development Yojana Program. 
டிவைங் செமஸ்டர் எயித் ஆஃப் அண்டர் கிராஜுவேட் ப்ரோக்ராம் இது மட்டும்தான் ஏதாவது உருப்படியா நடக்கிற ஒரு விஷயம் இது மட்டும்தான் in all the state agriculture university this photograph i took uh, two three four months back at madurai when your trichy students who visited madurai campus with your dean your batch uh, yes you were there you know uh, yes i could remember your face now you may be there uh, one among those children who are sitting there i discussed with those students who came for rave program rural agriculture work experience program or a rural entrepreneurship awareness development program இது மட்டும்தான் ஏதாவது உருப்படியா நடக்கிற ஒரு விஷயம் அதுலேயும் சீரியஸ்னஸ் மஸ்ட் பி தேர் சீரியஸ்னஸ் மஸ்ட் பி தேர் ஆப்ஷன் மே பி இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் ஃபார் டூ மந்த் வில்லேஜ் ஸ்டே பிளஸ் ஒன் மந்த் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி ஆர் ஒன் மந்த் வில்லேஜ் பிளஸ் டூ மந்த் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி மோர் மந்த்ஸ் ஆர் மோர் டைம் ஆஃப் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி அட்டாச்மெண்ட் இஸ் பெட்டர் தட் இஸ் மை சஜஷன் டூ எலக்டிவ்ஸ் வித் டெசன் ஆர் ஃபைவ் மந்த் இன்டர்ன்ஷிப் வித் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி தட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஏன் சொல்றேன்னா நம்ம கிராஜுவேட்ஸ் வந்து டிஎன்ஏல இருந்தாலும் டிஎன்ஏ வை சப்போஸ் டிஎன்ஏ இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த பெஸ்ட் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் எஜுகேஷன் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் கிராஜுவேட் எஜுகேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஹேப்பனிங் ஹியர் கோர்ஸ் முடிச்சு வெளியே இறங்கியாச்சுன்னா அவங்களுக்கு சொந்தமா அவங்க சொந்தமா ஒத்தைக்கு பண்ண முடியணும் அவங்களால எதாவது ஒன்று பண்ண முடியும் எதுக்கு ஒரு மஷ்ரூம் ஒரு யூனிட் ஒரு ஹண்ட்ரட் மீட்டர் ஸ்கொயர் ஏரியால சொந்தமா ஒரு மஷ்ரூம் யூனிட் தொடங்குறதுக்கு அவங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஒரு கத்து வரணும் அவங்களுக்கு ஒரு ஸ்ட்ரென்த் வரணும் அந்த மாதிரி நம்ம கிராஜுவேட்ஸ் ஃபார்ம் பண்ணணும் ஸோ திஸ் ஐ யூஸ் டு டெல் எவ்ரி வேர் இன் மை யூனிவர்சிட்டி ஆல்சோ ஐ ஆம் ஐ ஆம் டெல்லிங் தட் மெசேஜ் டு தம் அண்ட் ஐ ஆம் மேக்கிங் மை ஸ்டூடெண்ட் அண்ட் அவர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் நோ ஐ ஆம் கம்பேரிங் ஐ ஆம் கம்பேரிங் கேஎ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் கம்பேரிங் கேஎ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் கம்பேரிங் நவ் மகாராஷ்டிரா ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ டெல் யூ த மகாராஷ்டிரா ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் மை யூனிவர்சிட்டி ஐ ஆம் நாட் சேயிங் தட் பிகாஸ் ஐ ஆம் நவ் தேர் their risk bearing capacity and their initiatives are much much far better than tna even k solama nivarthi illa students you should equip yourself you should stand on your own legs right empty number of funding agencies are there goes mudichi ug mudichi pg mudichachina sondama or mushroom illa or poultry farm or or institution ஒரு செகண்டரி மெட்டபோலைட் ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணக்கூடிய ஒரு ஏஜென்ட் ஒரு இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் உங்களால் ஒரு ஆக்ரி என்டர்பிரனோரியல் ப்ரோக்ராம் உங்களால் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ண முடியணும் ஆர் இன்புட் ரீட்டைல் ஷாப் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்றதுக்கு யூ ஷுட் கம் அவுட் யா யா லாஸ்ட் டைம் வென் சுப்ரமணி விசிட் டாக்டர் சுப்ரமணி விசிட்டட் மை கேம்பஸ் லாஸ்ட் மந்த் ஹி இன்ட்ராக்டட் வித் மை அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் ஏபிஎம் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வித் டாக்டர் சுபாங்கி ஹூ இஸ் அசோசியேட் டீன் தேர் சுபாங்கி ஜெக்தாப் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வேர் டெலிங் யூனோ தே வேர் ரெடி டு கம் அப் to take up agri entrepreneurial program and the mari agri entrepreneurial program after completing pg program you should do or after completing undergraduate program you should do so unless otherwise productive on hand experience oda ungalala cheya mudiyatti there is no use in that ready and all rural rural entrepreneurial awareness development program illa rave program nal enna prayojanam oru prayojanam kedaadu மேக்சிமம் கிடைக்க போட பிரயோஜனம் என்னதுன்னா கொஞ்சம் வெயில் இறங்கி நடக்கிறதுக்குள்ள ஒரு தெம்பு கிடைக்கும் அவ்வளவுதான் வெயில் கொஞ்சம் இறங்கி நடந்து சுத்துறதுக்குள்ள தெம்பு கிடைக்கும் அது போதாது உங்களுக்கு உங்களால என்னமாவது பண்ண முடியணும் so that is what uh, icar and uh, uh, state agriculture universities uh, dean swift committee decided we should not shut doors to talent and uh, irrespective of its source in admission or recruitment that is also very important agriculture versus pure sciences no hard separation ipo yeah, agriculture naal varsham padikiradhu moon varsham ba history padikiradhu ore maari pola ay povudhu appi aaga koodadhu similarly public versus private அக்ரடிஷன் இருக்குதோ இல்லையோ அதை பத்தி எல்லாமே கவலைப்பட தேவையில்லை யூ ஹாவ் டு பைண்ட் அவுட் த பெட்டர் கோர்ஸ் ஆஸ் வெல் அஸ் யூனோ இப்போ யூஜிசி இஸ் கமிங் அவுத் கமிங் அப் வித் நியூ கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் மல்டி லிங்குவலைசேஷன் இங்கிலீஷ்ல தான் கிளாஸ் இருக்கணும் இங்கிலீஷ்ல தான் படிக்கணும்னு கிடையாது தே கேன் ரைட் இன் இன் ஓர் ஓல் லாங்குவேஜ் மற்ற டங்கில் எழுதலாம் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் எழுதலாம் நேஷனல் லெவல் காம்படிட்டிவ் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் எழுதலாம் ஐஏஎஸ் எக்ஸாம் உங்க மற்ற டங்கில் எழுதலாம் 
it is already there it is already there so those kind of things are coming up whether english or hindi or local language what should be the medium of instruction in higher agriculture education so these kind of things are going on these are the problem areas proliferation of new college universities meager resources infrastructure planning fragmentation into monodisciplinary universities while the need is multidisciplinary that is what i said you know now the pure agronomy pure breeding and genetics pure entomology that concept is gone multidisciplinary multi institutional multi organizational thinking of projects as well as studies are happening elsewhere in the country mba course sandwich course start panirukranga epdi theriyuma one two one year mba in uh, uh, food food business food business one year in france second year is in brazil two years agri business management course that is how international courses are happening nama inge enna pandrom 10 varsham agronomy agronomy or trial potu edavadhu or finding la potu or data aaki or potavatha ketti vechaachina agronomy msc mudinjidhu and the msc vechi enna prayojanam illa plan breeding in genetics unga subject ah edavadhu potu rendu varietal trial podrathu screening adhe idhu or ah or thesis or potavatha ketti vechirathu chinna book na msc konjam periya book na phd mudinjidhu what is the purpose of that degree UGC has a much rank you can select professor of practice onaku phd manda msc manda by karma and dharma you are a preaching you are a practicing faculty member professor you can be a professor of practice you know i have selected two set of professor of practices one in computer science and engineering who are working in ibm and infosys they are not having mtech or phd they are professor of practice sslc bcom orale bl advocate they are practicing for the last 25 years in beekeeping honey beekeeping in kerala i am going to take those two people as apiculturist and apiculture professors avanukku msc um kedaadu mtech um kedaadu phd um kedaadu they are professors ugc is telling you can appoint vice chancellors can appoint professor of practice those who are adan correct kudandengale adha correct venum then in a system there must be assistant professor associate professor professor dean associate dean director of research vice chancellor ella venum adoda professor of practice um venum enna avanukku vande by hand experience unde nammala vida 20 25 years ave bee keeping e panniterukan honey bee keeping he is modifying modifying the box modifying the frame structure modifying the uh, honey extracting unit differentiating or uh, refining the equipment finding out his own market the rendu vera professor of practice na edukren nu sonna illaya avanga good down low na pora nyayathukalam poi irundha you won't believe 3 lakh liters of honey they are having 3 lakh liter honey they are having they are handling ama rendu vera rendu rendu pasanga must be around 30 40 age avanga turnover evlo theriyuma 23 kodi oru varsham 23 kodi ruba oru varsham handle pandranga rendu rendu pasanga mano joseph and another shaju two two boys two guys youngsters epdi அவங்களுக்கு யாராவது பிஎஸ்சி அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் ஒரு ராவே ப்ரோக்ராமும் ட்ரைனிங்கும் கொடுத்தாங்களா இல்ல சோ பிராக்டிஸ் 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 நம்ம படிக்கிறதா இருந்தாலும் சரி படிக்கும் போது நல்லா கவனமா கேட்டு படிச்சு அதுல ஸ்பெஷலைஸ் பண்ணுங்கோ டிகிரி பிடிச்சாச்சு ஆஹ் இப்ப என்ன டிகிரி ஆச்சு இனிப்ப எனக்கு கவர்மெண்ட் வேலை கொடுக்கும் அப்படின்னு ஆண் வாய தெரிஞ்சிருந்தது கவர்மெண்ட் வேலை கொடுக்காது யூ ஸ்பெஷலைஸ் யூ கோ ஃபார் ஹையர் ஸ்டடிஸ் யூ கோ ஃபார் எம்பிஏ ஏபிஎம் Are you go for any of the higher studies in PG? Those who are interested to teach, go for PhD. Illa where is the entrepreneurial program? PG mudchi to entrepreneurial po. That is my advice. PG mudchi to you go for entrepreneurial thing. Similarly, improvising is necessary to attain competitive edge. That is very important. 
நம்ம என்னதான் படிச்சாலும் சரி அதுல நம்ம இம்ப்ரூவைஸ் பண்ண பார்க்கணும் should be used as a uh, supplement not as alternative improvisation kradhu vande the distant education irundhal seri exam and evaluation reforms irundhal seri creating research culture irundhal seri credit bill and credit buy system irundhal seri you know in the latest new new ugc system abc is coming sir academic bank of credit abc academic bank of credit na indha kudandha rendu varsham padikidinga padichittu she is telling எனக்கு சௌரியம் இல்லை தேர்ட் இயர் இங்கே படிக்கிறதுக்கு ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி இன் யூகே ஆர் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டடி வித் மை டிவை பாட்டில் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் அண்ட் டெக்னிக்கல் யூனிவர்சிட்டி யூ கேன் கம் அண்ட் ஜாயின் தேர் ஃபார் தேர்ட் இயர் ரெண்டு வருஷம் நாலு செமஸ்டர் இங்கே முடிச்சுட்டு தட் வில் பி கெப்ட் இன் யுவர் அகடமிக் பேங்க் ஆஃப் கிரெடிட் பேங்கில் எவ்வளோ அப்படி காசு போடுறோமோ அப்படி இந்த உங்கள் கிரெடிட் அதில் போட்டுற வேண்டியது யூ கேன் கம் தேர் அண்ட் ஜாயின் தேர்ட் இயர் தட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் திங் இஸ் கோயிங் டு கம் நவ் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் அகடமிக் பேங்க் ஆஃப் கிரெடிட் மல்டி என்ட்ரி multi multi exit that system is also going to come multi entry multi exit third year angu vandu padikira mudichittu venna for final year thirumbi inga varalam illa draw panittu poirra draw panittu pora na solra enak agriculture padikka enak virupam illa na vandu food technology padikka pora indha kashn thalai oru aalu inga vandu pesittu pora chotta thalai oru aalu inga vandu pesittu pora so i am going to study food technology btech vera edha enga vandu btech padikkana enakku அங்கே இந்த காமன் கோர்சஸ் ஏதாவது வந்துன்னா அந்த காமன் கோர்சஸ் அங்க ரிப்பீட் பண்ண வேண்டாம் மல்டிபிள் என்ட்ரி அண்ட் மல்டிபிள் எக்ஸிட் பொசிஷன் ப்ரொவிஷன்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் இந்த நியூ யூஜிசி திங் திஸ் இஸ் அபவுட் கிரியேட்டிங் ட்ரஸ்ட் இன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஃபேக்கல்டி பப்ளிக் அண்ட் கவர்மெண்ட் இஸ் நெசசரி ஃபார் எக்ஸலன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் அனதர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் திங் அக்ரெடிடேஷன் அண்ட் ரேங்கிங் வச்சிருக்கிறாங்க அக்ரெடிடேஷன் இஸ் நெசசரி டு ரெகக்னைஸ் ப்ரமோட் மெயின்டெயின் அண்ட் பில்ட் அப் இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷனல் எக்ஸலன்ஸ் ranking induces competition competition builds quality and uniformity but diversity is necessary so for this purpose only the accreditation has been given but if accreditation nadakkuradhu inda edavadhu kaaryathukku nadakkudhu accreditation is happening for the sake of accreditation ungalku accreditation kudukkanum na kudupa illa na kudukamatta illa na questions kepa rectification ninga answer pannano answer panna pora accreditation kudupa so this is what happening so idhilla அடப்படல மொத்தத்துல மாற வேண்டியிருக்குது சிம்லி இன்டர்நேஷனல் அவுட் ரீச் ப்ரோக்ராம் நம்மளுக்கு எங்க ஸ்ட்ரென்த் இருக்குது ஐசிடில ஸ்ட்ராங்கா இருக்கிறோமா தட் மஸ்ட் பி ப்ரொஜெக்டட் தென் கண்டூசி அட்மாஸ்பியர் ரிக்ரூட் ரிட்டைன் அப்கிரேட் டேலண்ட் फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी வித் அக்கவுண்டபிலிட்டி தோஸ் சோ தோஸ் திங்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் யூ நோ இனோவேஷன் இன் சால்விங் इश्यू இன்டர்நேஷனல் அவுட் ரீச் கண்டூசி யூ அட்மாஸ்பியர் தென் அக்ரெடிடேஷன் அண்ட் ரேங்கிங் தீஸ் ஆர் தி Uh, certain things the la ipo ipo nadandittu irukirathu making phd at entry level qualification ipo ars eduthirukonga ars la undu phd entry level qualification vechirukra ipo enna aachu na modala sonna vishayam dhaan chinna book na msc periya book na phd illaya andha alavuk poi irukudhu so that should be actually stopped phd used to be the highest research degree and Uh, that should be awarded for high quality research work alone making it minimum eligibility can have negative consequences on the quality of research this this may lead to quick substandard research and mal practices so research pannum bodhu na sonna mari selective va endantha aspect la research pannumo endantha aspect la pannuna prayojanamo natukku ad mattum dhan pannanum for the sake of doing a research we should not encourage அது கைடு வந்து கொஞ்சம் கவனிக்க வேண்டிய விஷயம் அதே மாதிரி செகண்ட் ஒன் இஸ் சைட்டேஷன் बेस्ड இவாலுவேஷன் தட் இஸ் வாட் ஐ டோல்ட் சைட்டேஷன் बेस्ड இவாலுவேஷன் ஆஃப் ஆல் கைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரிசர்ச் அப்ளைட் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் ரிசர்ச் ஆஃபன் யூசஸ் குளோபல் knowledge and technology to resolve local issues may not invite many citation pure sense ல இருக்குற மாதிரி சைட்டேஷன் நிறைய சைட்டேஷன் வரணும் இல்ல so citation cannot be treated as a criteria for agriculture sciences whereas metallurgy material science physical science pure science adrella varla citation varum agriculture sciences la citation varadu romba kammi so citation cannot be always quoted as a criteria for selecting a person similar criteria to compare dissimilar objects or disciplines that is another uh, uh, you know difference of opinion every part of the body or institution or discipline is important for balanced growth so similar criteria 
to compare dissimilar objects or disciplines won't work. And uh, last, I would like to mention about slightly on the national education policy, NEP 2020. The education system, national education policy uh, for sustainability yeah, into an equitable and vibrant knowledge society. system, national education policy. So under that only, this ABC is coming, multi-entry, multi-exit is there, uh, DG locker facility is there, uh, professor of practice is there. So all those things are there. In nutshell, the coming day education with the new structure of 5334, multidisciplinary and holistic education, conceptual understanding, multiple entry and multiple exit, life skills, Higher Education Commission of India with HRD Ministry. All of them are talking experiential learning with the critical thinking. You know, in my university, Devi Patel Agriculture and Technical University, experiential learning is the core mantra. Every course doing is believing. Doing is experiencing, seeing is believing. And the concept of Muruga Pritchte, Nangella Kosleme, experiential learning Panitra. That is 50% theory class, 30% laboratory, 20% field study. Yen the course at the study. There will be field study. They have to go to the field and do it by their own and experience. You let end up on Padatha Pote mushroom cultivation, Kathakurpo. Mushroom Padatha Pote. Those Mudinji Pom both on the paper clips, Dura Potachina, mushroom then to them. Yeah. Right? Am I correct or not? Mushroom cultivation now, Ninga Unka Kayala, Konipa and Nanache, Pote, plate humidity, Kuti, Nala Vetta or condition Nadate, SFT condition maintained Pani, Anga Unga culture introduced Pani, Unga bed material, Vakola, Vakole, Straw Nastra. Team la pote, nalla vega vache, SFT condition naki, cooker la pote vega vache, other like introduce punny, inaculate punny, proper the maintain punny, mushroom edite, harvest punny, pack punny, sale punno. Ipadamatupoda de harvest punny, you have to value add it, pickle aho, illa vera da de sandwichaho, illa patiaho, burger patiaho, unta kinik sale punno. And the sale process or whatever, no, value add, pani sale, pani. And the value add, pani, that's fortification, good or no, bio fortification. After one day, that, now we are going to study. What is the preparation? That is our prayer. No, no, no. Why do we pray? And whether it is online or offline, nothing is going to help. The, ah, uh, in the point of the corona condition, that is online education, that is. Online education, yenna kudu thodi kada chilla. Pudasa varra graduation varra kudane ringa onde. Aungalay gedu thodi mudiyala. Aungalay gedu thodi mudiyala. Aungalala unnu me gedu thodi mudiyala. Why? Because aungalay grasping power, aungalay vastche manusla kudiya power, illa aungalay ke aungalay class le kathu kudu thodi aungalay puriya rade. Inde idalala me aungalay thodi thodi poyirche. Totally gone. That is the impact of Corona. Corona It is very difficult now. I don't know how it is happening here also. English le You know, see, when you pass out, when you go and sit before a multinational company, they will be asking empty number of questions. First of all, no, we should inculcate, develop self-confidence in them. Then, second one is about spoken English. They should speak good English. Illa English vena, nama Tamil le yau unka pesu thiriyano. Pesu thiri jata, nama confidence oru pesu na tha, nama munna di ukandhi kudukle nama mere oru madhi puruko. Illa ami ni anna tha mudichalan siri, ni post doctor mudichalan siri. Ona ke neera thiva pesu thiriyade. Actually, you should sell yourself. Multinational company, that multinational company, American company, or country head to country couple, Dr. Bala, Subramania. You put your interview by the Pagranga, Namakaka, Kailuki, Pasa, and the Paya, every mother, Pesra, the person they put in a pretty face today. You put your answer, Pandra. Confidence level, every day. Communicative ability, Rikida. Yes, sir. 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 Y
So all that, along with the teaching subject, kindly teachers bear it in mind. Teach the students to speak confident with confidence. Inculcate the students the risk bearing capacity. Motivate them for doing and learning on hand experience about the things what they are learning. The lamp panata the new era la new world la namakodan la we can place them properly. We can keep them to a higher level. Students, I would like to suggest that don't stop with your BSc agriculture alone. You should specialize in any of the PG courses, need not be in TNAU. You can go to any other university, go to IARI or go to any other Pandanar university or you come to DVP ATU, my university for higher studies. Empty number of opportunities are there. Higher studies, don't contend with your graduation program alone should go for PG. Those who are listening, scholars, research scholars, should think about doing postdoctoral program outside the country. Especially, agricultural research, la, remember, advanced nations are there. Particulture, na, it should go for Netherlands. Our extension activities, animal husbandry component, na, you should go for Switzerland. Engineering aspect, agriculture, engineering related course, na, you should go for Germany. Empty number of opportunities are there. In Germany and all for higher studies, they are not charging any fees at all. They are not charging any fees at all. If you go outside your state or outside your country, you could learn a culture, a different culture, a world order. You could learn a new language. You could mingle with the new people. You learn a new social aspects, social living nature. So those, all those things you could uh, imbibe from the place where you go, right? So with this, I stop my speak on the uh, state of art of higher education, agriculture, higher education. It's uh, uh, way forward. I talked about the scope and other things. Uh, the, the crux of my talk is only the last two, three points that all who are listening to me, all students should go for uh, the higher studies, higher uh, issues or higher topics with multidisciplinary approach for your better tomorrow. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Okay. So thank you, sir. So, so I think this was a very wonderful lecture. So not only for the students, it has awakened the teachers like us. So he stressed the importance of uh, going for PG studies becoming a businessman from agriculture. So earlier we were studying agriculture as only art and science. So now he has enlightened us this is as a business. So students, you make use of this opportunity. So good evening, Tonandal. Really, we had a wonderful lecture on uh, art of agriculture, higher education, scope and opportunities. So on behalf of uh, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dean SBGS, Dean AC and RI, and on, on behalf of all of you, I express my sincere and heartfelt thanks over Honorable Vice Chancellor uh, DV Patil, DY Patil, and Agricultural Technical University, Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. Pradhapan Sir, for ending, spending his valuable time uh, to share, share his experience, particularly for the past 40 years' experience he shared. And really, he enlightened our students regarding the higher studies, that is very important. He highlighted some important points like inter multidisciplinary approach in, in terms of doing research, then higher education, agribusiness, the drone techno upcoming technology in agriculture, drone technology, IoT, then internet, uh, uh, then robotic agriculture, artificial intelligence, automation and irrigation, then verticulture. So, so many advanced technology has explained to our students. So, once again, I thank you, sir, for your a uh, wonderful lecture, almost more than 1 hour 45 minutes. So everybody sitting calmly and enjoyed your lecture, sir. So thank you so much, sir, for spending your valuable time and uh, explaining, uh, enlightening our students, particularly the final year students. They got a very good idea to join PG and to select the different multi-discipline approaches, uh, discipline approaches. So on this juncture, I thank our Honorable Vice Chancellor PNAU and Dean SPSS for arranging this, uh, our Dean AD, 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 for arranging this excellent 
a guest lecture and i thank all the professors and teachers who are all attending this program online offline i also thank the staff and students of uh, dy patil agriculture university agriculture technical university maharashtra who are attending this program in online so i thank all the students who are all uh, got benefited by attending this excellent guest lecture program thank you one and all thank you all thank you